So step 10, we're gonna mount the last aluminum extrusion that we have, and this looks like it just basically goes on top. And this is gonna be to hold the filament holder. So let's move this over a bit. Whoops, let's move this over a bit. So it looks like in this, we're gonna need two pieces, which are these. We're gonna cut these open or open the bag, whatever you need to do. To get this open, looks like some caps for the aluminum extrusions. So let's go back to step 10. We're on step 10. So these two pieces that they're showing you in the step are end caps for aluminum extrusions. What's really cool is that you, not only does it make them look a little neat, it keeps you from kind of scratching yourself because this aluminum can scratch you. And this part should just snap in there and fit on there, I'm assuming. So I'm gonna take it, there we go. So I got one side and I have the other side. Kind of gives it a little bit of finish, you know, kind of kind of neat look in there. So it's not just some open end, just for looks, whatever. So this is gonna require four M5 by 25 bolts. And there are four holes in this aluminum extrusion that goes in here. And they're pretty, they line up pretty easy. Now what's cool about this is this is gonna line up the Z axis perpendicular to the machine. Now here's what's really important here. When we were tightening this and actually mounting this earlier, this is what's gonna show you is if you had it crooked or not, because this, what I really like, is gonna keep it perpendicular so when this rides up and down, it'll keep that Z axis from moving. So it should keep it together and line it up. So make sure again, I'm gonna get one kind of started and then I'm gonna hop over to the other side like this. And I'm going back and forth basically from all four bolts. I'm gonna make sure that when I tighten these, that I don't just tighten one. You wanna get one going pretty good move to another one, kind of get it going, move to the other one. If you've ever changed a car tire, kind of the same concept. But when you're doing bolts like this, it helps you to keep everything evenly tight and straight and perpendicular and parallel, everything square to each other. And I'm not gonna over tighten them. I'm just gonna put them just snug. So that's for that part. And it looks like we can now move on to the filament holder. Okay. so. When you're doing this filament holder and taking it apart, you're gonna see some tabs that line up with each other. And if you line up these tabs just right, you can take it apart. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna fit this into this part, and you're gonna line up the tabs again onto that and just twist, and there it is. And we're gonna have two M5 by eight bolts and two M5 T-nuts. Now the T-nuts, or what slides into the aluminum extrusions once you put them on the bolts. And the way this works, in many other cases, they kind of did this for us, but whatever. I guess they can't do everything for us, right? We have to learn something. So we're gonna put the T-nuts on here, like this. So, we're gonna put them on there till they're barely on there because I'm gonna to have to slide these onto the aluminum extrusion. Now, I can tell you right now, I've already kind of messed up because this was supposed to slide on before. So I kind of got ahead of myself, I think. Actually, let's see, maybe I didn't. Maybe we can put them on there and then turn them. Okay, we can, good enough, I'll go with it. So the way this is gonna work is, it looks like they want us to turn this towards the front of the machine or the back. I'm not quite sure here. It seems like, let's see. I wanna face this this way. I'm gonna put it this way. Not a big deal. If we have to move it later, this is nothing but a filament holder. It's not like it's gonna change anything. I don't think. So we're gonna put the bolts onto this. Let's see, move it so you can see it. And it just kind of, these T-nuts actually fit into the extrusions. Let's move it this side. They kind of show it like it's off-centered, so I'll just follow what I see in the picture. It's always best just to do what they kind of tell you. And if you find a better way later, 
you can do it. So kind of have that snug. 